life is not usual these days. There's a lot going on. And everyone's lives are just spun up, flipped up, turned over, out of sync, seemingly out of order. And you may be thinking, when is this ever going to go away? Just morning after morning, evening after evening, day after day after day. Mornings and evenings. Now, I understand that life is not what it once was, but we're still alive. God is still God, and He is still in control. Now, we've been looking at the Psalms, believing that for every sigh there is a psalm, allowing the Lord through His Word to encourage us and to help us. And I just want to rapid fire, go through some scriptures, something that the Lord laid on my heart last week sometime. And I just been pondering it and holding it in and now it seems fitting to share with you. Mornings and evenings, how should we be waking and sleeping? How should we approach mornings and evenings during this time of trial? And I just want to take you, as I said, through several psalms and hopefully encourage you to look at mornings and evenings from a biblical perspective and not, wow, when is this going to be over? The first thing I want to share with you from the psalmist is in Psalm 57, verse 8. The psalmist says this, Awake up! my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. And then in Psalm 130, the psalmist says something similar. He says in Psalm 130, verse 6, my soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Even though we're in a time of crisis, I believe we should awaken with anticipation. Awaken with anticipation. As I said, God is still in control. He is still God. And though things have changed around us, He doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is still working out His plan in our lives. Therefore, we should awaken with anticipation. We should wake up in the morning, we should lock on, and we should look up. In Psalm 88, I want to read a passage of Scripture to you from there. In Psalm 88, verse 13, Listen to what the psalmist says. He says, But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. In Psalm 5.3, the psalmist says, My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee and will look up. We should awaken with anticipation. We should look up. We should lock on to the Lord and look up. Then in Psalm 119, in Psalm 119 verses, or verse 147, the psalmist says this, I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word. I hoped in thy word. We should hopefully hear before hopping out of bed. Hopefully hear. In Isaiah 50 verse 4, Isaiah says that, that the Lord had given him the tongue of the learned so that he would know how to answer someone who was in a season or a time of being weary. He said, morning by morning, the Lord awaken mine ear as the learned. We should hopefully hear before hopping out of bed. In Proverbs 8, 17, the Lord says this, 
They that seek me early shall find me. We should start by seeking the Lord every morning. In Psalm 30, verse 5, the psalmist says, Weeping lasts through the night, but joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. In Psalm 118, the psalmist says this in verse 24. He says, This is the day which the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. We need to roll out of bed rejoicing. Roll out of bed rejoicing. Because this is the day the Lord has made. Even this day, even these days. In Psalm 59, the psalmist says this in verse 16. He says, But I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense and refuge in the day of my trouble. The Lord has brought us to this day. And if he awakens us in the morning, we should sing of his steadfast love each and every day that he wakes us up. In Psalm 90, the psalmist says this in verse 14. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. In Psalm 143, verse 8, the psalmist says this. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. In Lamentation, we read that it's, it's because of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his, his compassions fail not, his mercy. They are new every morning. They're new every morning. In Psalm 92, the psalmist says, verse 2, To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. So we need to awaken with anticipation. We need to, we need to lock on and look up. We need to hopefully hear from the Lord before we hop out of bed. We need to roll out of bed rejoicing and we need to sing of his loving kindness, his, his steadfast love. This is how we ought to wake up. This is the way our mornings should be. And then the evenings. In Psalm 4, verse 4, the psalmist says this, Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Sila. We need to we need to calm down every evening by communing with the Lord. He says, stand in awe and sin not commune with your own heart upon your bed. In, in Ephesians 4, 26 and 27, Paul says, Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. We need to settle down, shut the door. Not just with anger, but anxiety, aggravation, agitation, all of these things. These to toxic emotions. There needs to be this debriefing time every evening. When we commune with the Lord and allow Him to search our hearts and deal with those things so that we don't take them into sleep and they disrupt our rest. And then lastly, in Psalm 4, verse 8, the psalmist says this, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. After all of this, we need to tuck in and trust. Just tuck in and trust the Lord. Evenings and mornings are important. We see in Genesis chapter 1, and the evening and the morning were the first day. God, God functioned by evening and morning, day after day after day. He's still God today. And we need to 
function biblically with our mornings and our evenings. I hope these passages from the Psalms and a few other places encourage you. Don't let this current crisis rob you of your mornings and your evenings in your day-to-day -day walk with the Lord.